So I decided to take a break from the nine pet bundle Steam games. Honestly, I've noticed they're all kind of the same concept. I'm still holding on to the hope that we'll find a decent one. But anyway, I took a break because I found this game on Steam. It's part of the Let's Ride series, Let's Ride Silver Buckle Stables, which was released in 2006 for Windows. I remember seeing this game and wanting it really bad, but for whatever reason, never got it. There's so many English riding horse games, for better or worse, but hardly any Western riding games, which is the style of horseback riding I'm used to. The premise is to take care of your horses, compete in competitions, and ultimately win buckles. When you win a competition, your horse earns a heart, which increases its speed, and you unlock varying items ranging from new tack to new coat colors for your horse and even new horses. It's possible to gain up to five hearts per horse and no more beyond that. There is a character creator with so many hairstyle choices, <laughs> but actually there is a lot to choose from here, even if it doesn't look like it's doing much. There's an okay amount of options to start with for the horse customization. And as I said before, you do unlock more options as you play through the game. You don't have any new styles of mane or tail, though. That would have been a nice thing to add. There is a very in-depth tutorial for the barn portion of the game, the free riding portion of the game, and the competition portion of the game. I took part of all three tutorials, and they explained things very thoroughly and were even fully voice acted. To it, pressing the space bar and selecting stable horse from the grooming. For a kid's game, Especially, I think that having good in-depth tutorials are really important. One thing to note, I found that it's best to remap the keys. The ones that are automatically mapped are so horribly planned out that it makes playing really difficult. Of course, using WASD makes it a lot easier. Caring for the horse is not overly complicated or time consuming. I would actually like if there were a little more to it, like hoof cleaning but obviously not too much of that because we know what a nuisance that can be. I really like the animations for feeding, collecting water, the way that the character walks with the bucket, making it look heavy, and all of those different things. You can choose treats for your horse in the feed area, which I think is a really cute touch. I also like that there are different options to choose from. Makes it feel a little bit more personal. One animation that stood out to me was when you walk up to the horse's pen, they actually back away from you as if to move out of the way. I think that's a cool touch and adds to the realism. There's a tack area in the barn where you can go to customize your horse's tack, coat color, name, and mane and tail. There is a free riding open world area that's actually pretty decent size. There's a map that you can minimize at any time. There's marks on the map to show areas where you can go and practice different competitions. And you're also free to dismount and run around. The little dandelion effects while running in the grass is a nice touch. I also like the sun glare. I couldn't really find a reason to dismount, but it still kind of adds to the realism again. Okay, so since we're out in the field, let's take a look at the gate animations, which I really like doing. Firstly, the character's feet are actually in the stirrups and she is holding the reins. These little details are so appreciated in these games, at least for me. I also like how when you turn the horse, her hands actually pull to the side. Again, another appreciated detail. Okay, the horse walking itself is pretty awkward and clanky. So is the trot. It's almost like an extended trot or trying to be. The lope or canter, depending on where you're from, is the most awkward looking gait. What is going on here? No lead changes when turning, which is not surprising. The only game I've ever seen do that is RDR2. And the gallop is slow, as usual with these older horse games. What? Why is that? When you gallop, you want to feel like you're actually doing something, not just standing still. So I went into my first competition and it went pretty well. I liked the cool little intro to the competition, kind of swooping around and showing the area, although it did last a tad bit too long. It almost made me motion sick. You 
you have to enter in all events in order to win a buckle. And I didn't know how to do all of them because I didn't finish the tutorial completely. But there's enough basic directions with the arrows on the ground that I was able to do all of them pretty well. The game lets you get away with quite a few mistakes and still be able to get first place, especially at first. There's also an option to watch a demo before you begin the event to show you what to do. Each event won gives a blue ribbon. And if you tuck closely enough into the turns, you get it awarded a bonus, which shaves half a second off your overall time. Later on in the competitions, namely the last one, you have to get those half seconds off or you don't stand a chance in winning. I want to mention that they did a good job with the slowing down mechanic and feeling like you can maneuver these tight turns pretty well. After I won my buckle, I unlocked a new saddle, horse coat color, as well as my horse gained a heart, which supposedly increases how fast he can run. The heart was then displayed on his pin. I wanted to test the faster speed thing by re-entering a few events from the first competition. Sure enough, I beat my personal records for those events by enough time that I think the horse's speed did increase. It definitely didn't look it visually though. I also wanted to test if keeping the horse groomed made a difference in the speed. I couldn't get better than fourth place when I skipped the grooming and feeding, so I guess it does make a difference. The first competition's a normal competition, and once you win that buckle, you go into the A class, and there's three of those competitions. Then the double A class, which there's four of those, then finally the triple A and there's five of those competitions. One of my favorite events was the pole weaving. I liked the animation and it felt fast paced and really satisfying when I'd hit those bonuses back to back. Inside the house is a board where you can view the ribbons you've won, the event you won them for, the time you got, the associated buckles, and the horse you used to win. That's such a neat touch, I think. You can also customize your character again from here. Once I opened up the AAA events, I used my newest horse to try the first of the five competitions just to see if the heart speed system really did change anything. Sure enough, I came in dead last in all the competitions despite doing them almost perfectly. I enjoyed switching out the tack and changing my horse's color as I unlocked some of my favorite coats. Blue Roan, Dun, Gruyo. But once I got the buckskin with the dark leg variation, that was all I needed. It's too bad they didn't offer wraps for the legs though. The competitions did get quite repetitive. As long as I used my most leveled up horse, there was no real challenge. This competition, I got second and even third on some events, which actually surprised me because I had been breezing through these things. I still got the buckle in the end. The final competition is actually really tough. My horse loses its food and water rapidly, so he slows down quite a bit halfway into the competition. You can pet the horse before the event begins to boost the care meter, but that doesn't matter when the water and food meters are lowered. In this race, you can't make any mistakes at all or you'll lose. At first, I thought there wasn't much reason to go into the open world part of the game, but I realized after looking around that there are actually hidden little events that aren't marked on the map to get high scores for. You can also go to a practice arena where you can try new events. And if you want to, you can run to the competitions rather than take the trailer. I would have loved to have seen more Western riding events, such as roping, reining, maybe something like team pinning. Why aren't there more horse games with that kind of stuff? Are there and I just don't know about it? Anyway, overall, I enjoyed playing this game. I don't know if it was because I've been playing such awful games, or if it really is a decently made game. It started to feel a little like a chore to finish the last few competitions because, like I said, it did get repetitive. But it definitely wasn't torture. And the thrill of seeing what prize I would win was enough to keep me engaged. I honestly wish they would do this type of game again and just add a few more things as well as touch up some animations. I bought the game on sale for $3.49, but it's worth even the full price of $4.99 in my opinion. It'd be great for a little horse lover to play. I know I would have absolutely loved this game as a kid. That's all I have for you today. Please like the video if you enjoyed it. Please comment any thoughts you may have, any suggestions. Subscribe if you want to see more of this type of content and share it with a friend if you know someone that would enjoy seeing it.
As always, thank you so, so much for watching. Until next time, bye guys.